Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the gaming review, battery drain test and the heat test of the Oppo F9 Pro. Now before we get started, these are the specifications and anti-2 and Geekbench scores of this phone. Now this phone sports a MediaTek Helio P60 processor with Mali G72 MP3 GPU with a Full HD Plus display. So in terms of gaming performance, this phone should do really good. Now before I get started with the gaming review, this is my setup. Phone currently has 74% battery and there are two huge lights on either side. Currently there is an AC running in the background at 26 degrees and the room temperature is 27 degrees. Now I'll start the timer and start the gaming review with Asphalt 9. So far I played about 3 races in default settings and the visuals were amazing, better than Mi A2. But the phone is lagging a bit. Now I'll change the graphic settings to performance and then see how it performs. So guys, I played this game for about 8 minutes in the default mode and performance mode. Now let's see how hot this phone got. On the front, I have seen a maximum of 41 degrees. At the bottom, it's about 36 to 35 degrees. I've even seen 39. On the back, near the camera, it's about 40 degrees. At the bottom, it is 38 degrees. Now even after changing the graphic settings to performance mode, there is still a bit of lag. But now it is much more playable. By the way, visuals were as good as the default settings. Next I'll be playing Modern Combat 5. So guys, I played this game for about 8 minutes, now let's check the temperature. On the front, maximum temperature I've seen was 44 degrees, at the bottom it's about 38 to 39 degrees, on the back it is 43 degrees, and at the bottom it is 37 degrees. Now coming to the gaming experience, there is no lag, visuals are good, but for some reason there was no audio for the game. That's why I used some background music. Now coming to the heating issues, phone definitely feels slightly hot now, especially in this area, but it's still manageable. Now going on with the gaming review, next I'll be playing Shadowgun Legends.
So guys, I played this game for about 9 minutes. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, I've seen a maximum of 44 to 45 degrees. At the bottom, it is fluctuating from 39 to 40. I've even seen 41 degrees. On the back, it's fluctuating from 42 to 43 degrees. At the bottom, I've seen a maximum of 40 degrees. Now there wasn't much lag in this game and the visuals were pretty good as well. Next, I'll be playing PUBG Mobile. So guys, I have played this game for about 10 minutes. Maximum temperature on the front was 43 degrees. At the bottom, it is 39 degrees. On the back, I have seen a maximum of 42 degrees. And at the bottom, it is 38 degrees. Now coming to the gaming experience. Occasionally, there was some lag, but it is completely manageable. And the visuals were pretty good. On the whole, gaming experience on this phone was really good. All the games opened in the full screen mode by default. I didn't have to make any changes to make the game go full screen. Now that's a really good thing. Now coming to the battery life, phone currently has 60% of battery left. So for around 42 minutes of gameplay, phone used just 14% of battery, which is pretty good for a 3000mAh battery. Now coming to the heat test, I'll be taking pictures continuously using the front 100 cameras for 3 minutes and then see how hot the phone gets. Now before I start the test, let me tell you once again, there is an AC running in the background at 26 degrees and the current room temperature is 27 degrees. Now I'll start the timer and start taking pictures. As you can see, I am clicking the shutter button quickly, but the capturing speeds are a bit slow. There might be some throttling because of the heating issues. So guys, it's been 3 minutes since I've been clicking the pictures. Now let's check the temperature. On the front, I've seen a maximum of 46 degrees. At the bottom, it is 39. On the back, it's fluctuating from 43 degrees to 45 degrees. And at the bottom, I've seen a maximum of 38 degrees. Now the top part of the phone definitely feels hot, but it's still manageable. So guys, on the whole, gaming experience on this phone is pretty good. You can play all the high-end games without any issues. Even the battery life is pretty great and there are no heating issues. Yes, it gets pretty hot, but 46 degrees is pretty good. Phones like Honor 9N and Huawei Nova 3i reached a maximum of 50 degrees. So compared to those phones, this phone is definitely doing pretty well. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you are planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It really helps this channel. And if you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off. Have a nice day.